I used law of assumption to heal myself of a chronic illness, and I want to share my story with you to help you bolster your faith in this magical process, whether you are dealing with health issues or otherwise. I developed chronic fatigue syndrome and it was confirmed in a telehealth appointment that my illness was likely triggered from chronic stress brought on by my teenage and young adulthood environments. I had to completely give up on my dream of going to school while my body recuperated. Work, even virtual employment, was out of the question. I lost the ability to take care of myself properly, much less participate in the hobbies and causes that used to be important to me. I became for all intents and purposes a ghost of a functional human being. When I heard about Neville Goddard and the Law of Assumption through learning about the Law of Attraction, I decided I had nothing to lose by assuming myself healthy. My symptoms were A constant burning pain in my upper arms and thighs. This made self-care and exercise difficult, as simple tasks set tension radiating across my muscles. It literally felt like my body was screaming at me when I took a few steps away from my bed. Back aches and neck aches. Need I say anything about how much these suck? Deteriorating mental capabilities. I forgot my own name, basic English grammar rules, how to open doors, how to wash dishes, how to put on clothes, how to balance a budget, how to use forks and spoons. All of this happened to a woman that had previously been accepted to numerous prestigious universities around the world before these circumstances made her give higher education up. I could no longer read books or write on a level appropriate for my age, education level, and for the amount of time I spent on these hobbies. An unstable emotional state. I went from being furious at my lot in life, to wanting to end it all, to being emotionally numb towards everything in a matter of 15 minutes. Minor paranoia. Don't look up the hat man, I swore that guy was following me. I thought my mother and grandfather were plotting to either murder me or come up with reasons to put me out onto the street in my sick state. Unsociability As you can imagine, all of these symptoms turned me into a jackass and a pain to be around. Might be unrelated, but complexion issues. I had such amazing skin as a teen, and I'm talking Aphrodite coming out of sea, pale and clear skin. People were jealous that my parents didn't have to pay for touch-ups on my school portraits. That all changed when I got sick. My diet did go to shit, as did my wallet and budget for skin care supplies. As you can imagine, these realities did a number on my self-concept and perpetuated a lot of these realities. Now, after a couple of weeks of working with the law, I'm the complete opposite. I clean and exercise every single day, I am sociable. I can read difficult scientific papers and understand what they're talking about, I can function normally, and no one watching me walk or work through problems in public or in private uses me as an excuse for what's wrong with this current generation. Furthermore, if I do happen to make a mistake, I can easily correct it, readjust myself. My skin is almost completely clear. I no longer relate to Rockwell and Michael Jackson's famous single, Let Me Be Very Clear About This. I did nothing but assume that everything was fine with my brain and my body. I could barely visualize or do sats, so I decided to shift my focus. I would briefly journal about how spectacular my days were, how productive I was during the day, and how cognitively capable I was turning out to be. I chose to expand upon everything that was going right with my health, and lo and behold, my assumptions about my health changed. Revision happened naturally. I began to distance myself emotionally from the trauma that triggered my chronic fatigue syndrome, and I no longer felt mentally tied to the emotions my environment created within me. I now have happier memories of the times in my life that made me ill. It was miraculous, truly and utterly miraculous. Every Friday I go to my friend's house for three-hour evening meditation. This one night I decided to stay over in the guest room after the meditation was over. The next morning I'm up and no one is awake yet. I go into the temple room and do my morning meditation, then I go back and decide to enter sats. I had nothing else to do. I didn't want to sleep and I didn't want to get too active, so I decided I can dwell somewhere in between. I lay back on the bed, my left shoulder and neck were in serious pain and tension, the injury. So I concentrated my mental energy on that and breathed into it. 
I commanded my mind to relax my shoulder and neck deeper and deeper until I wasn't bothered by it anymore. I visualized myself being on the most comfortable bed so I can easily forget about my body. I progressively relax my body even deeper. My body is so relaxed that I have no desire to move it. I keep my mind alert and avoid drifting into sleep. Then, I find myself in this field of consciousness beyond my body. I am aware of my body but not at all interested in getting busy with it. If I want to explain this state of awareness in visual terms I can say it feels like being in space, it's a deep blue field that's alive and responsive. There's this cloud-like fluid substance floating around in this field and it responds to my thoughts and feelings as immediately as I have them. So, there's no one here but myself. There's no outside influence here. Everything I experience is the contents of my own being in the immediate now. This substance responds to me, as immediately and exactly as I think and feel. So, this light is constantly responding, whether we know it or not. I'm here just enjoying the experience, and I remember I have this shoulder injury. It's buzzing with pain and distracting me from the joy of this consciousness. So, I decided to command my mind to relax this tension again. I kept my attention very focused on relaxing the tension. I begin to affirm words like, my shoulder is in perfect health, healing light is now flowing to my body. This brings my awareness to the reality that my shoulder is in perfect health. Then I bring in the feeling of it is true. I believe what I say feelingly, and I reside in the feeling of being perfectly healthy. Like if you ask yourself, what does it feel like to be perfectly healthy? Then conjure up that feeling in your imagination. That's it. That's the feeling I held on to. I resided in this state for some time, holding the feeling of my wish fulfilled, I drop into a nap. Believing my shoulder is in perfect health, feelingly, then rest and sleep. This state of awareness was purely conjured up by my imagination. Again, no external forces caused it besides my own wonderful imagination. I take about a 20-minute nap, then wake up in the same state that I fell asleep in. I open my eyes and have complete certainty that my shoulder is in perfect health, that it is done. On a conscious level, I'm just shocked. My conscious, rational mind is literally looking for the pain, but it's just gone. There's nothing there as if nothing was ever there. A few days go by, and I'm still looking for this pain, but it never comes back. Three months have passed since this experience and still, it's not back. I had this pain for several years, from 2017 when I fell from a height while hiking. The injury is an accumulation of bad posture and the hiking incident. I visited one of the best chiropractors in Los Angeles who helped me greatly but that specific area of my neck and shoulder kept coming back even after several adjustments. The surprising part is that several years of pain and discomfort were healed in an instant of concentrated thought and sets. It all felt like a miracle but as I thought about it more, I realized it is the mind, imagination, that is the miracle. What did Neville say over and over again? Your imagination is Christ and whatsoever you assume and rest and sleep with will harden into fact. Again, coming to the same conclusions as always. I had some pain issues and asked for some advice on how to deal with it. I was doing sats, visualization, affirmations, living in the end. It was helping little by little as I felt my stomach began to heal itself and I felt lots of tingles, itchiness, movement. I definitely made progress over the past few weeks, but still not as much as I would like. I believe I had an energy blockage in my stomach from holding on to past trauma and emotional baggage. So I found this video where this YouTuber talked about how he healed his hip with law of assumption, but he had been doing the visualization for his hip for 12 years. Yet it still did not heal him all the way, at least not until he addressed the actual issue. He decided to sit down and talk with his pain, talk with his hip. He then realized that the way his hip had been feeling physically was the same way that he had felt emotionally at that time of his life. He had been a cancer patient previously and had undergone chemo for about five years, and all the emotions had built up inside him, such as not feeling supported, angry, weak, etc. I felt the video just spoke to me, I believe I came across it at the exact time I was supposed to. 
I sat down with myself and began to meditate. To listen, my stomach felt like it was being ignored, pressured, like all the walls were coming down. I started crying, as I remembered all of the emotional trauma I had faced prior to this, and how I felt so ignored and unloved and carried so much resentment in me for two years up until that point. I spoke with it, I told myself that I was loved now, I will no longer ignore the pain and I will accept and nurture it like it is my child. I began to truly appreciate and love my stomach in that moment, because it really has done so much for me and has kept me alive as best as it can. I released all of that trauma and negative energy that I had been holding in. And suddenly, the pain began to dissipate. I felt like the energy in my body had finally been unblocked and could flow freely within in me. Due to this issue and a traumatic hospital visit a few months back, I had lost my period for about two months. Today, I had woken up and sure enough, it was back. I had been manifesting and trying for weeks to induce my period with no luck. I am truly grateful for this turn of events. I cannot express how good it felt to just finally let go and be free. My stomach pain has also gone down. Not completely gone, but now I can finally use sats and living in the end to finish the process because there is no more blocked energy. I cried again this morning, just because I'm finally starting to see the end of this long journey, and I am happy again. I will never take my health for granted again for as long as I live.